Alright, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Let's get underway with this week's Shipyard Champions. Scores for last week. Stealth came first with uh, 357 points, which is a lot. And then Frozo the second with 344. Jularly with 206. <laughs> 79 for Panzergraf. Fireman Row 62. Plus Galaxy 42. 6 and then 0. So. Well, th this, they escalated very quickly. <laughs> with my accidental uh, good battleship design. So this week is actually my challenge. Our German raids have engaged a convoy your task force is protecting. Save as many transports as you can before reinforcements arrive in 30 minutes' time. So, range is 15 kilometers at the start. Day clear. Each of us next in firing Germany. So, we get to build a battleship, two heavy cruisers, and six destroyers. Versus a battleship and a heavy cruiser from Germany, the Raiders. We get two points per transport, save, one point per ocean own warship that survives, and five points per enemy warship that sinks before 30 minutes. So, let's get on to her. Do, uh, put 26 as a speed. Uh, gear turbines 2 is a good one. Very good thing, I feel. Nice lighter engines is always a good thing. That's actually almost dead center. Which is good. I know it's going to need two funnels to get good efficiency. And it's nearly bang on in the middle, which is good. Uh, crop five. We do want anti torp. Now, I have an advantage here over the other admirals is that I designed the ships that we're fighting. Uh, so. Although I'm not going to try and use it too much, I do know there is torpedoes, which is why anti-torp is going on, although not max anti-torp. And I do know the uh, composition of the ship for battleship. And I believe... That uh, embracing... The burn is going to be a good way to help uh, deal with it. I do auto one reloading. Although we can get some good shells or good penetration off of these 14 inch guns. I will go for Pickrick 3. And we'll in lengthen the guns. But I think they could also make them larger too in order to help a little bit. Have to shuffle everything forward, so we have not quite 15s on this ship, so it's not quite an Otago 15 inch uh, battleship. Still over one run a minute, which is actually for Mark 3 guns and all that with for 15 inch gun. Yeah, that's that's respectable, <laughs> that's respectable indeed. And it's not too bad penetration, though it could be better. It does definitely start to fall off rapidly. Considering it loses... Yeah, about 15,000 yards is 22 inches, which I know for a fact is not going to be enough to get through. Put armor on the deck. We're just going to up the inner belt a bit. Is there any? No, there's no casement slots. Oh, those actually fit there? Excellent. There we go. I'm not quite Vanguard uh, secondary battery. Then again, it's either 7 inch guns versus the dual purpose uh, little 4.5 inch things. That Vanguard actually had, like, you know, the standard British dual purpose gun. Again, I'm going to lengthen their barrels to get extra range out of them. So that hopefully they'll be able to engage the heavy cruiser as well. Two inch superstructure should be 
fine. Two powder picker, cap two. I will keep incendiary. Uh, Barbet four is a definite. Malbro. Uh, we have a little bit of weight left, so I'm going to put it onto the belt. And the inner deck. And the second inner deck. And then a little bit on the third inner deck, just to make sure that weight isn't, you know, transfer that to there. And there we go. Not too bad. She just got a little bit of pitch instability, but it isn't too bad. Could be worse. And she's relatively well armored. She's not. She's not as well armored as the vows we're going to be facing. <laughs> that one is more armored. But it does have less guns. I know that much. At least main guns. Do modern heavy cruiser two or heavy cruiser two? What are your resistances? Six seventy-five for the better hull form here. We'll go with better hull form. Thirty-three knots. Well, Kent. Uh, let's try there for a second, and we'll... We'll go from there. Okay, so fit in that one, but not in that one. There we go. We're gonna have to move to geared, oil two, and probably yeah, induced in order to make sure that fits. Again, we do want Citadel, and we did full anti flood. Getting reinforced. Again, low anti torp. Bottom hull. And for guns. There's a Mark V 9 inch gun. We'll go with that. Yeah, that should be fine. Get these set to that standard. Put these TNT, that would have a little bit better penetration, considering that what they're going up against. It's actually pretty well balanced. How long range are these torpedoes? 12 kilometers. And that's with standard old 18s. What about 22s? No, it's not. I mean, there we go. We got twelve. Mm, let's see. Could do fast. No, we'll, we'll have a couple launchers. Just, just there, just to help a little bit. I don't really need secondary guns, considering. It's only bigger ships. There's, oh, on the funnel. Couple case moves, gun slots. No, we're not going to do that. We'll get Barbet 4. We'll also give it Hydro and RDF equipment. And then Armor. more, but I think that's relatively fine. Again, may as well max out the belt. 
off and this is kind of the range where it should be mostly flat penetrations. Though there is some deck angling coming in. There we go. And we still have some weight left. Uh, give it an auxiliary engine. And shaft. And I guess a couple, like, five inch secondary guns. Like, maybe? No. I mean, in case they ever get close enough to use the things. Give them longer barrels. These are like little four inch, four and a half inch guns I was talking about. Also, uh, standard ratio, good. Good, 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 good. That's good enough. I say that's good enough. That is good enough, I say. Uh, modern destroyer leader. Right, main tower, enhanced main tower. Enhanced modern tower, which is what it's called, not enhanced main tower. So let's try to get four so we can place the funnel here, which is backwards for some reason. Why is the funnel backwards? Oh, it's just, just how it's designed then. All right. I was about to say, why is it backwards? <laughs> that, that's odd. Only dual five inch guns, which is interesting. Uh, to do, we want gear turbines, we want oil, we actually don't need to induce the boilers on this one. Anti flood 3, uh, max HE is fine. We'll put a capitalistic though. Actually, let's, we'll go for cordites on, on this one just to buff their range slightly. And launchers. Uh, that's 18 inches. Uh, 22s. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't quite fit with 20. Hold on. Okay, there's a slight angle where we can get those launchers away. Not the best. But it should work. Yeah, max HE. Uh, we'll give a barbette. Your speed is at 33. What's your hull speed? 35. We'll put it at 36. And now we do need to induce the boilers. Not even just induce, we need to force. There we go. Silvery engine and shaft. Triple bottom hull. Reinforced bulkheads. We'll add some armor to the deck. There we go, that actually helped a bit. We'll lengthen the guns slightly again. Again, rate of fire, but also more range. So these should be able to fire AP right away, even though they AP will do basically nothing. <laughs> Except for against relatively unarmored sections of the ships. Uh, we want some... Uh, let's increase the superstructure armor. the deck. Oh, there we go. That's the limit. So she's a little bit armored, but not insanely armored. There we go. I'm just going to quickly check to make sure I gave the heavy cruiser. Yeah, Quincy's rangefinder. Excellent. Excellent. Ex excellent. All right. Let us see how well we do. <laughs> Let's see how well we do. We'll definitely lose some ships. Theseus? <laughs> oh boy. Badger. Nazim. Swan. 
Yep, for Bruce and Prince Elgin. That was the two correct ships. That's the two correct ships. AKA basically Bismarck slash Tirpitz, and then a not quite a uh, Prince Elgin or, or a hyper class of a cruiser, but a little bit more. <laughs> Now, if my testing so far has been accurate, they should be targeting the transports, which is part of the challenge of this, is how quickly can you get in there and force them to target something else. All right, Division 4 with Serene in command. You're going that way, have fun. Same with you guys. Go over there, have fun. And then they just take off, not long are being tied to the screening. Marlboro's aimed, she has a 4% accuracy chance so far. I'm pretty sure a hipper is or the Prince Eugen is targeting her. Yeah, the Prince Eugen is definitely targeting her. Oh! That's a partial pen. That's a partial pen from one of the heavy cruisers. And then 15, no, that's uh, the not Bismarck scoring hits. So yes, 20 transports to block save, and that was a block, something hit. And there's the secondary guns targeting the destroyers. And there's the cruiser following along the not Bismarck. I think I did a pretty good job building the challenge ships. Considering they tend to... Well, normally by this point they've killed at least some transports. By this point. It's normally killed. At least in my little test games I did. However, I did find that if you manage to, uh... Oh yeah, no, because you can see they're targeting the transports. They're just ignoring these ships. Unless they have to. Target them. Yeah, so far they're getting very unlucky with hits. Which is good for me. Bad for them. Which is also going to play a wrench to the fact that they will happily... As... Because... These guys will attempt to stay about 15 kilometers away from whatever they're targeting with their main gun. Which happened to be the Wanderer that time. So they'll happily stay 15 kilometers away from whatever they're targeting. And a little bit further out for the Prince Eugen. And they will happily ignore anything else that comes close to them. They'll ignore literally everything else in order to try and get closer. Which means these torpedo boats, uh, they're gonna be able to launch, or destroyers gonna be able to launch. In fact, that's the first launch there. A blocked fire on the head green. Let's speed up time a little bit. That is the heavy cruiser engaging, which means the heavy cruiser should be, yeah, heavy cruisers falling back. We're just going to fill the water with torpedoes. I just think to excessive fire. That's the not Bismarck engaging with torpedoes. Oh, that's a flash fire. Oh, Bismarck. Oh, you're not going to see many ships now like this. There's the torpedoes coming in. At least the first spread. All these ones launched over here are gonna miss now, which is a shame. Siren, what is she targeting actually? 
She appears to be targeting the destroyer. Oh, that is a torpedo hit, though. Excellent. That's one for 98 damage. Locked in an overpen. Have you launched? Oh, you just launched, which means your torpedoes are going to be missing, considering she's turning away. This is a shame. Uh, begin circling back. But you can see the same behavior from the ships that are told the screen. Is they're attempting to engage at a range that they consider safe. And they will happily run away from whatever they're targeting with their main guns in order to get to that range. Oh, that is good. Penetration fire flooding. So far, she's proven easier to sink than I thought she was. Then again, we've proven more accurate than the test games I ran. Yeah, she's targeting the destroyer, so she's attempting to run away from them. She still has some ammunition. Blocked by... All right, then. And the Prince Eugen is targeting something but it's uh, obviously reached the range it wants to be at, so it's not really too miffed. This is where I wish we had kept the torpedoes for a little bit longer, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? And flooding and all that. Yeah, normally these guys do better in my test games. Oh, there goes the destroyer. All right, that's one point lost. At least in terms of surviving warships. And now it's getting into the turtle type section. Provided you know she doesn't get whacked by the battleship. Uh, but her damage, flooding, the torque flooding induced. She's getting the angle, so she's not going to be able to engage with the 5-inch guns. Just off angle, so yeah, she's just being burnt and flooded to death now. Because she's not going to be able to engage with guns. There we go. Yeah, I was expecting more out of you. There, Frederick the Gross. You did much better in my AI test games. Oh, torpedoes. <laughs> so now they're going to swing back in in order to get back into range. Oh, and there's the Prince Eugen's torpedoes. Now we'll just do, do, do this way, get out of the way of them. Penetration from probably the uh, secondary guns, yeah, the three inch guns. But I say, is one of you guys had torpedoes still, considering? Overpen, fire flooding. Yeah, this is. I thought this was going to be harder, considering these guys love to target first and foremost off transport. So I was expecting them to just... Because my three test games I ran, they just came in, they just went and absolutely destroyed a lot of transports with ineffective... Then again, they were AI designs, so... Not always the best designed, but relatively ineffective return fire directed towards them. They were able to just merc a ton of transports before they... Uh, got ran over. I think you guys need to withdraw. Nope, there goes Walk, uh, or White Taker. 
So we've got... Because they're not going to be able to sink anymore. Not this time. 8, 10. 13, 14, 18. So we lost two transports. Which is a lot... Because in my test games, I've had them kill from half to all of them inside 30 minutes. Because they tended to just absolutely focus fire and murder transports. But they, I guess, just got unlucky this time. They just got unlucky. Especially with uh, return fire from the uh, Malbro. Considering she's hit 50% of her shots, like, that is... With no radar, that's... Pretty lucky. <laughs> that is pretty darn lucky. Because they're normally accuracy is worse than this. Then again, I did also kind of put a little bit of a, you know, the whole... Not quite Mark 315s. But basically Mark 315s. I was just killing the Prince Eugen. And we got six minutes to kill her, so she's probably dead. But yeah, no, the Prince Eugen was... Uh, double nine-inch guns of double eights. Plus the double eight wouldn't fit for whatever reason on the hull. So I put I won't double nines. Well, there we go. So let me do a quick... We got 10 points for sinking both of them inside 30 minutes. Huzzah. <laughs> Just barely, though. Uh, to do two points per saved. So we lost two transports. So... Uh, 36 points from that. 46, and then one per own warship that survives. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 points. 52, so not a, quite a perfect score, but considering how they generally go, generally the AI on those ships love to just murder the transports, even to the point of, uh, you know, uh, ignoring a battleship six kilometers away, <laughs> the broadside on, to that level of when I designed the ships and ran, ironically enough, uh, the exact same competition, uh, British Empire defending, Germany attacking, with just sitting by ships to go to AI control, and they swept the floor a lot of times without ever dying, and they did go up against a 15 inch on the battleship but then again the ai for whatever reason too when it designs ships it loves to just chop barrels lengths short so ooh, that, that could have been part of it that led me to my false sense of yeah this is not a bad design for a challenge ship <laughs> anyway right, thank you all for coming out hope you have a good rest of your day evening weekend whatever time it is wherever you are in the world take care and i hope to see you all next time have a good one everyone